Hi, I'm Judy, and I want to show you how to do a carry that I don't think has a name. It's just a combination of some passes that I came up with a few weeks ago. It's really comfortable, it works really well for the heavier toddlers and preschoolers, and it feels a lot like a soft stretcher carrier in that most of the weight is centered on the hips. Um, it is the combination of passes. You start out with the rebozo pass, and you have a reinforcing pass, a waist belt, and then a cross pass. So I will show you how to do that. I'm using a 5 meter wrap, which is um, longer than I need. I can do this carry with a size 5, and I have just the right amount of um, wrap for that. So this is a little bit longer than what I need, so I'm going to start out with a little more on my short side. So I have one side that's short and one side that's very long. If this was a size 5 wrap, I would have about, I would leave it hanging down to about my hip. But because it's 5 meters, I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. Oopsie. And this is about where I want it to be. So I'm going to bring it on down. I'm going to Superman, nope, sorry, hip scoop my three-year-old up. Come on, mister. Thank you. Okay, ready? Oops. All right. Bring the wrap up around him. Then I tuck the top two rails under my chin. And I make a seat. I just sort of pick him up and then bounce the wrap underneath him. Okay. Also, because I am um, wrapping a heavier child when I'm doing this, I make sure to keep my knees bent. That way I provide more support and there isn't as much stress on my back. Okay, so this is the pass that's going to be a proposal pass. But for now, this is how you would normally have it. For now, it's going to be easier just to keep it over my shoulder until I'm done with the carry. Put your arm down, buddy. Okay, I'm going to do, this first pass will be a reinforcing pass. So I'm going to bring it around behind me and spread it out. And tuck it in. Then pull all the slack out. And now I'm going to just tuck the wrap under his leg like this. Now I'm ready for my reinforcing, no, excuse me, my waist belt. I just bring it across the front. And you don't really have to worry about whether the wrap gets twisted or whether the top rail or the bottom rail stays the same. It doesn't really matter in this case. Um, so I'm going to bring this across the front and bring it up to the back. And I hang on to the top rail. Let me turn this way better. Hang on to the top rail with both hands. And I lift it up over and kind of shimmy it up over his back. And then pull everything nice and tight. Whoops, don't want it over there. Make sure that the bottom it is pulled up under his bottom as well, pulling out all the slack. So now I have both tails over my shoulder. This is the one I just finished. The one underneath is the original tail. Remember, this is the one that is for the rebozo pass, so I need to bring this under my arm. So I bring it under, pull everything nice and tight. And at this point, you can tie up the shoulder. You can do a Bolaria finish. I'm going to do a candy cane chest belt. So I take the two pieces and I just start twisting. And I twist until I have enough to go all the way across my chest. Then I take one piece and tuck it underneath the ruck strap and then tie a knot. I usually just tie a half knot. If you have a wrap that is a little more slippery, um, that doesn't grip as well, you would want to tie a full knot. But in this case, the half knot is going to hold just fine. So there I have a candy cane chest belt. I have two, three good cross, three good passes across his back, and then I have this waist belt here that provides a lot of support. All right, thank you very much for watching.